Hey YouTubers, it's your pal Platt, and today I'll be drinking a beer from Pelican Brewery. Before we get started with this though, I want to point out that I got a new beer drinking shirt from a buddy of mine, Daniel. You normally see me in the Platt R shirt, but he gave me this shirt. I can always use another beer drinking shirt, and so I thought I would wear it to drink a beer. This one I'll be drinking today is the Tsunami Stout from Pelican Brewing. The Pelican Brewing is a small little seaside brewery slash pub slash restaurant based in Pacific City, Oregon. Now they kind of specialize in food and beer pairings. They try to use their beers in a lot of their dishes. This specific one, the Tsunami Stout, is used in their chocolate brownie sundae. So let's give it a try. Well, actually, first, let's run down the numbers. 7% ABV, 45 IBU. And they sell it in a uh, 22 ounce, what they call double deuce or bomber bottle. Let's give her a try. A nice little carbonated pop. Oh, does this pour dark. Almost, almost motor oil thick. We get a nice kind of uh, dark khaki kind of head, nice little nose, good head retention, do one more sniff, ooh, got a little nose, oh that's nice, a lot of dark patent malts you pick up, real, real chocolate punch to the front of the tongue. You know, I've read on a couple of reviews of this beer that there was kind of a dry bite to it. I'm not really getting that, but like I said, I am getting a lot of chocolate off this beer. Carbonation's good. Um, like I said, it poured thick and it feels thick in the mouth, a lot of body, but that is a good stout. Um, definitely something I'll be trying again when it gets a little cooler outside. Give me, we have one more sip. Oh yeah, that's very classic. Just a good dark stout. I definitely recommend it. The Tsunami Stout from Pelican Brewing. Now I kind of switch gears a little bit. Something not like this stout. Last Friday was National Martini Day. And I hope you had a martini. You probably were out and about, you probably someone drinking a martini, or were you? A lot of what we call martinis today are just something, just some random cocktail, usually flavored, whether it's an apple or an espresso or chocolate, and thrown into a martini glass. Or is that even really a martini glass? Actually, what you think is a martini glass is not. The technical term is a cocktail glass. The original martini glass is more like a kind of a rounded shaped coupe or champagne coupe as we think of today. Like I said, the martini glass in your mind is actually a cocktail glass. And the drink martini, whether it's apple, espresso, or whatever, is not a true martini. It's just a cocktail. That being said, the origins of martinis go back, some people claim it's a variation of the drink, the Martinez. Some say there's two or three other origin myths, but the original martinis were made with gin, two parts gin, one part vermouth, and orange bitters. Hmm, orange bitters. We might have something on that in a later video. But it's through the years, less and less gin, and then when vodka took over the U.S. market in the 60s, and thanks to the James Bond movie, we got vodka martinis. Now pretty much if you have a vodka martini, there's not going to be any vermouth or bitters in it, and it's just a glorified chilled shot of vodka, either with an olive or a twist. Now I'm not saying this to kind of be snobbish or whatever, I'm just kind of letting you know kind of the history and background of martinis when people say martinis, you know, what they're actually getting, what they think they're getting. Uh, nowadays, again, pretty much any cocktail you throw in a martini glass, it becomes a whatever martini. Um, that's fine, you know, whatever works for people. Uh, the cat's out of the bag on the martini thing, so just kind of let it go. 
I do have one addendum for bartenders, new bartenders out there that might be watching this. You might get a random order from Europeans every once in a while asking for a martini on the rocks with soda. And you think, wait a minute, that's kind of odd. What they're asking for is a is a brand of vermouth martini and Rossi. They generally just use the term martini. And they're just wanting dry vermouth on the rocks with a, with a little bit of soda or a twist or what have you. So if you're dealing with with a European clientele, you might want to take the extra step when they ask for a martini to confirm that it's, it's not, not just the vermouth, but it's the actual cocktail martini. Well, I hope you found that somewhat informative, and I hope you had a good time on National Martini Day. And I'm sure there's another national day coming up, and when it happens, we'll let you know. Well, until next time, bottoms up.